Moving on to other news, protesters took to the streets of Tokyo on Wednesday, which marked one year since a controversial law took effect to allow the Japanese military to participate in foreign conflicts. It was the first such legislation to override Japan's post-war pacifist constitution. Despite the depth of domestic opposition, the Japanese government seems determined to pursue its military goals. Cho Sung Min has the full story. Shortly after Japan's new security legislation was passed a year ago, civic groups began to rally against the decision and are taking legal action against the state. The rally started in April of last year with about 500 people from Tokyo and Fukushima Prefecture questioning if the security laws can violate the pacifist constitution. It's almost a year later and now there are 5,500 people from all over the nation supporting the legal action. According to local publication Asai Shimbun, the number of people objecting to the government exercising its right to collective defense is increasing in the Guma and Miyagi prefecture. They have called the new laws war legislation, highlighting concerns the nation could either enter or be dragged into military conflicts. Despite the growing number of protesters in the nation, the government has already taken further steps. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has agreed to dispatch a self-defense force to an upcoming U.S. drill, which would be the first ever collaborative exercise between the SDF and U.S. Navy in the Pacific. Once the exercise takes place, the SDF's cooperation with the U.S. armed forces will become more active than ever. Moreover, the expansion of SDF's overseas activities will escalate tensions in Southeast Asia over territorial disputes. Cho Sung-min, Arirang News.